Hello, fictional. Welcome to the What If Essay. Today we are gonna see, what if Essay fell in love with Gaspar Vladi. If you end up liking this video, please consider subscribe, so without further ado, let's get into the video. The occult research club buzzed with fervent discussions about the latest supernatural phenomena. Issei Haidu, known for his fiery enthusiasm for all things occult, was in his element, debating the potential origins of a recent mysterious sighting reported near the school grounds. As Issei animatedly shared his theory, his gaze wandered around the room, taking in the eclectic mix of club members. Among them sat Gaspar Vladi, a boy with strikingly pale skin and a timid demeanor that seemed to conceal a world of secrets. Gaspar was tucked away in a corner, engrossed in a worn-out book about ancient vampiric rituals. Issei's curiosity peaked. He had always been drawn to the enigmatic, and Gaspar emitted an aura of quiet mystery that intrigued him. With a lopsided grin, Issei excused himself from the ongoing debate, sauntering over to Gaspar's table. Hey there. Watch your reading. Issei's cheerful voice cut through Gaspar's concentration, causing him to startle and almost drop his book. Oh, um, hi, Gaspar stuttered, hastily tucking a loose strand of silver hair behind his ear. It's, uh, just a book about vampire lore. Vampire lore, huh? That sounds fascinating. Mind if I join you? Issei gestured to the empty seat across from Gaspar, a genuine spark of interest glinting in his eyes. Gaspar hesitated, unused to someone actively seeking his company. I, I don't mind, he finally managed, a faint blush dusting his cheeks as he pushed the book slightly closer to Issei. As Issei settled into the chair, he couldn't help but notice Gaspar's unease. It tugged at his heartstrings. So, Gaspar, you seem to really know your stuff about vampires. Are you, by any chance, a vampire yourself? Issei inquired, trying to break the ice with a playful grin. Gaspar's eyes widened in surprise, a mixture of shock and nervousness flickering across his features. Yes, I am. But please don't be afraid. I, I won't hurt anyone, he stammered, wringing his hands anxiously. Issei leaned forward, his expression warm and reassuring. Hey, no need to worry. I'm not scared at all. In fact, I think it's pretty cool. He chuckled, hoping to alleviate Gaspar's apprehension. For the first time, Gaspar met someone who didn't recoil at the revelation of his true nature. Issei's easy acceptance and genuine interest melted some of Gaspar's insecurities. He cautiously relaxed, albeit slightly, allowing himself to engage in conversation with Issei. Their discussion delved deep into the intricacies of vampire mythology, from ancient legends to modern-day interpretations. Issei's eyes lit up with excitement as Gaspar shared his knowledge, feeling a sense of belonging and connection he hadn't experienced before. As the conversation flowed, Issei noticed how Gaspar's initial nervousness faded, replaced by a faint glimmer of confidence. There was a certain beauty in Gaspar's passion for the subject, a hidden strength beneath his shy exterior that fascinated Issei even more. Time flew by unnoticed, and before they knew it, the club room was quieter, the other members having left for the day. Issei glanced at the clock, surprised by how late it had gotten. Wow, it's gotten pretty late, huh? Issei remarked, glancing out the window at the darkened sky. Gaspar glanced up as well, a hint of concern flashing in his eyes. I am sorry, I didn't mean to keep you for so long. You probably have things to do. Issei shook his head with a reassuring smile. Nah, don't worry about it. I had a blast chatting with you. Plus, the night is still young for us occult enthusiasts, right? A small, hesitant smile graced Gaspar's lips, touched by Issei's understanding. Th thank you Issei. I, I had a good time too. As they gathered their belongings to leave the club room, Issei couldn't shake off the newfound fascination he felt for Gaspar. There was something about the shy vampire that captured his attention a kindness and depth that stirred something within Issei's heart. The days that followed Issei and Gaspar's late-night conversation in the occult research club seemed to hold a newfound sense of anticipation for Issei. He found himself eagerly looking forward to their next encounter, curious to learn more about Gaspar and the world of vampires he inhabited. True to his nature, Issei didn't waste any time. He sought out Gaspar during club meetings, striking up conversations that ranged from supernatural phenomena to the most obscure vampire legends. Gaspar, though initially reserved, gradually opened up to Issei, finding comfort in his genuine interest and non-judgmental nature. Their talks extended beyond the confines of the club room. Issei would often find Gaspar in the school library, engrossed in books about the supernatural. Each time, Issei would join him, and their discussions would meander through realms of magic, folklore, and the unexplained. As they spent more time together, Issei began to notice the subtle shifts in Gaspar's demeanor. The timid boy he had met on that first night seemed to grow more at ease, his nervousness giving way to a newfound confidence whenever he conversed with Issei. One afternoon, Issei and Gaspar found themselves perusing a particularly intriguing book about ancient vampire rituals. 
Gasper was explaining the significance of a specific ritual when he suddenly faltered, realizing he had lost himself in the explanation. Sorry, I tend to ramble about these things, Gasper apologized, a tinge of embarrassment coloring his cheeks. No need to apologize, Gasper. I love hearing you talk about this stuff, Isaya reassured him with an encouraging smile. You have this amazing way of explaining things that makes it all so fascinating. Gasper's cheeks flushed a deeper shade of pink at the compliment, but a small, grateful smile adorned his lips. Isaya's genuine appreciation for his knowledge made Gasper feel seen in a way he hadn't experienced before. Their friendship continued to blossom, branching out beyond the confines of supernatural discussions. Issei learned about Gasper's hobbies his love for drawing intricate illustrations of mythical creatures and his fascination with stargazing during the quiet hours of the night. In return, Gasper discovered Issei's passion for cooking and his unwavering dedication to his friends. He admired Issei's vibrant spirit, finding himself drawn to the warmth and energy that seemed to radiate from him. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day, fueled by shared interests and a mutual understanding that transcended the differences in their backgrounds. Issei found himself cherishing Gasper's presence, feeling a sense of comfort and ease whenever they were together. Their friendship didn't go unnoticed by their fellow club members. Ria's Gremory, the club president, observed the subtle but significant change in Gasper's demeanor whenever Issei was around. She couldn't help but smile at the newfound confidence blossoming within the usually reserved vampire. Issei seems to have a positive influence on Gasper, Ria's remark to her closest confidant, Akeno Himejima, during one of their private discussions. It's wonderful to see him come out of his shell. Akeno nodded, her eyes twinkling with understanding. Issei has a way of bringing out the best in people. And Gasper is no exception. Their friendship seems to be a special one. Meanwhile, Issei was unaware of the impact he had on Gasper. He reveled in their growing friendship, relishing the moments they shared and the genuine connection they had forged. Gasper had become an integral part of Issei's life a friend, whose presence brightened his days in ways he hadn't anticipated. Little did they know, their burgeoning friendship was only the beginning of a journey that would lead them down an unexpected path one, where their bond would deepen, unveiling emotions and truths that neither of them could foresee. As their connection grew stronger, so did the complexities of their feelings, setting the stage for a tale of acceptance and love that would transcend the boundaries of the supernatural world they inhabited. Issei's days became intricately woven with moments shared with Gasper. Their friendship had grown into a comforting routine, an effortless dance of conversations, shared interests, and quiet understanding. Yet, beneath the surface, emotions stirred within Issei feelings he hadn't expected to emerge. He found himself thinking about Gasper outside of their usual hangouts, his mind drifting to the shy vampire at the most unexpected moments. Issei couldn't quite pinpoint the cause of these stirrings within him, but there was a warmth that settled in his chest whenever he thought about Gasper's gentle smile or the earnestness in his words. It was one afternoon, as they sat together in the club room, discussing the intricacies of ancient spells, that Issei felt a tug at his heart. Gasper's laughter echoed through the room, a rare occurrence that never failed to brighten the atmosphere. You have such a contagious laugh, Gasper. It's like music, Issei remarked, his gaze softening as he observed the slight blush that dusted Gasper's cheeks. The H thank you, Issei, Gasper replied, a bashful smile tugging at the corners of his lips. In that moment, something shifted for Issei. He realized that his feelings toward Gasper had transformed, evolving beyond the realm of friendship. It was a realization that left him both exhilarated and uncertain, his heart pounding in his chest. Inflicted emotions swirled within Issei. He valued their friendship immensely and didn't want to jeopardize it. But the burgeoning feelings he harbored for Gasper tugged at his heartstrings, urging him to confront the truth he had been avoiding. Issei sought solace in the advice of his closest friends confiding in them about the whirlwind of emotions he was experiencing. Kiba, his loyal companion, offered words of encouragement, reminding Issei that exploring his feelings was a part of understanding himself better. It's okay to feel this way, Issei, Kiba reassured him. Sometimes, the most unexpected connections are the ones that bring us the most joy. Ria's Gremory, perceptive as ever, sensed Issei's inner turmoil. She approached him one afternoon, a gentle smile gracing her lips as she spoke in a reassuring tone. Issei, love and friendship often walk a fine line. Emotions can be complex, but they're worth exploring. Issei absorbed their advice, contemplating the depth of his feelings for Gasper. He knew he had to address this internal conflict, both for his own understanding and for the sake of their friendship. Summoning his courage, Issei found himself standing outside Gasper's favorite spot the quiet corner of the library, where Gasper often retreated to immerse himself in the world of books. As Issei entered the library, he spotted Gasper engrossed in a tome about ancient vampire traditions. With a deep breath to steady his nerves, Issei approached Gasper's table. Hey Gasper. Can I talk to you for a moment? Issei's voice was soft, tinged with a hint of apprehension. 
Asper looked up, surprise flickering in his amethyst-colored eyes. Oh oh, Issei. Of course, what's on your mind? Issei hesitated for a moment, gathering his thoughts. I I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and I realized something something I need to tell you. Asper listened attentively, curiosity mingled with a hint of uncertainty in his expression. I I value our friendship more than anything, Gasper. You mean a lot to me, Issei began, his words carefully chosen. But lately, I've been feeling something more than just friendship. It's it's hard to explain, but I think I've developed feelings for you. The air seemed to crackle with tension as Issei laid bare his emotions, his heart pounding in anticipation of Gasper's response. Gasper's eyes widened in surprise, his cheeks flushing faintly. He was speechless for a moment, processing the unexpected confession. Issei, I I Gasper started, his voice soft and tinged with a mix of emotions. I never thought I mean, I've never had someone feel that way about me before. Issei felt a surge of anxiety, fearing he had overstepped boundaries or made Gasper uncomfortable. But before he could say anything, Gasper continued, his tone filled with earnestness. But I am glad you told me, Gasper said, his gaze meeting Issei's. Because I think I might feel the same way. The rush of relief flooded through Issei, his heart skipping a beat at Gasper's admission. The weight of uncertainty lifted, replaced by a newfound sense of clarity and warmth. The two of them sat in the quiet corner of the library, enveloped in the moment where unspoken emotions lingered in the air. Issei's feelings, once a tumultuous storm within him, settled into a calm certainty a realization that their bond was something truly special. As they shared a tentative smile, an unspoken understanding passed between them a silent agreement to explore these newfound emotions together, embarking on a journey where acceptance and love would transcend any barriers, supernatural or otherwise. The atmosphere in the occult research club felt charged with an unspoken energy after Issei and Gasper's heartfelt conversation in the library. Both boys navigated their days with a newfound awareness of their emotions, a tender connection simmering beneath their interactions. Issei found himself stealing glances at Gasper, the weight of their shared revelation resting on his shoulders. Gasper, too, seemed more attuned to Issei's presence, a subtle but palpable shift in their dynamic. One evening, after a particularly engaging discussion about ancient talismans, Issei found himself lingering in the club room, contemplating whether he should bring up the topic again. He wanted to ensure Gasper felt comfortable and secure in their newfound understanding of each other's feelings. As the room emptied out, leaving only Issei and Gasper behind, Issei decided to broach the subject. With a gentle smile, he turned to Gasper. Hey Gasper. Can we talk for a bit? Issei's voice was warm, filled with the genuine care he held for his friend. Gasper looked up from the book he had been perusing, his amethyst eyes meeting Issei's gaze. Sure, Issei. What's on your mind? Issei took a moment to gather his thoughts, wanting to convey his feelings without overwhelming Gasper. I just wanted to make sure you're okay after our conversation the other day. I know it was a lot to process, and I want you to feel comfortable. Asper nodded, a soft smile gracing his lips. Thank you Issei. I appreciate your concern. It was unexpected, but in a good way. Encouraged by Gasper's response, Issei pressed on, a hint of nervousness tugging at his words. I care about you a lot, Gasper. I wouldn't want anything to change between us, but at the same time, I want to be honest about how I feel. Asper's expression softened, his gaze filled with a quiet understanding. I feel the same way, Issei. Your friendship means a lot to me, and and I think what we share is special. The sense of relief washed over Issei at Gasper's words, a weight lifting from his shoulders. He felt an overwhelming gratitude for the mutual understanding they shared, a bond that transcended mere friendship. Thank you for being so understanding, Gasper, Issei said, his voice filled with sincerity. I want us to be able to talk about anything, without any pressure or expectations. Asper nodded, a reassuring smile playing on his lips. Of course, Issei. I'm glad we can have these conversations. It means a lot to me too. Their exchange felt like a soothing balm to both Issei and Gasper, solidifying their bond and fostering a sense of trust and openness between them. As days turned into weeks, Issei and Gasper's relationship continued to flourish. They navigated their emotions together, growing more comfortable in the understanding they had reached. Their friends within the occult research club noticed the subtle yet profound shift in Issei and Gasper's dynamic. Kiba and the others observed the genuine affection and understanding that seemed to radiate between the two boys, embracing the blossoming relationship with warmth and support. Ria's Gremory, perceptive as always, took Issei aside one day, her expression a mix of encouragement and guidance. Issei, I'm glad you found someone who understands and appreciates you. Love can be a beautiful journey, one that's worth exploring with an open heart. Issei nodded, grateful for Rhea's wisdom. Her words resonated deeply within him, reinforcing the importance of cherishing what he and Gasper shared a connection founded on acceptance, trust, and a genuine affection that surpassed any boundaries. 
As Issei and Gaspar continued to navigate their emotions and deepen their bond, they found solace in each other's presence. Their journey was just beginning, a path of self-discovery and mutual understanding that would lead them to explore the depths of their feelings, embracing the extraordinary love that had unexpectedly blossomed between a passionate human and a shy vampire. Issei and Gaspar treaded into uncharted waters, their newfound understanding opening doors to unexplored emotions and unspoken feelings. Their days were filled with a delicate dance of shared moments and stolen glances, each interaction deepening the connection they held. Despite the warmth and affection that grew between them, uncertainties lingered. Issei was mindful of Gaspar's nature as a vampire, aware of the unique challenges that might arise from their relationship. Gaspar, too, grappled with his insecurities, fearful of his supernatural tendencies causing harm or discomfort to Issei. One evening, as they sat together on the rooftop, the night sky a canvas of twinkling stars above them, a sense of contemplative silence settled between Issei and Gaspar. Issei broke the quietude, his voice soft yet tinged with concern. Gaspar, I've been thinking about your powers as a vampire, Issei began, choosing his words carefully. I want you to know that I accept you for who you are. Your nature as a vampire doesn't change how I feel about you. Gaspar turned to Issei, a mix of gratitude and apprehension in his eyes. I, I appreciate that, Issei but I worry about losing control. I don't want to hurt anyone, especially not you. Issei placed a reassuring hand on Gaspar's, offering a comforting squeeze. We'll figure it out together, Gaspar. I'm here for you, and we can find ways to manage your powers. Your safety is important to me. Their conversation led to a mutual understanding a commitment to support each other through challenges that might arise due to their differences. Issei reassured Gaspar that they would seek guidance and explore ways to help Gaspar harness his abilities without fear of losing control. In the days that followed, Issei consulted with Ria's Gremory and the other members of the Occult Research Club, seeking advice on how to assist Gaspar in managing his vampire powers. They researched ancient texts and sought guidance from experts in supernatural lore, pooling their knowledge to find solutions. Together, they discovered techniques and practices that could aid Gaspar in controlling his vampiric abilities. Issei and Gaspar diligently practiced these methods, turning late nights into sessions of understanding and mastering Gaspar's unique powers. Their efforts bore fruit as Gaspar began to gain more confidence in managing his abilities. Issei's unwavering support and encouragement served as a pillar of strength for Gaspar, instilling a sense of reassurance that he wasn't alone in this journey. Their shared experiences strengthened their bond, weaving a tapestry of trust and reliance on each other. Issei marveled at Gaspar's determination and resilience, admiring his strength and facing his fears head-on. Amidst their efforts to navigate the challenges, their relationship blossomed. Issei found solace in Gaspar's presence, and Gaspar, in turn, found comfort in Issei's unwavering support. Their connection became a sanctuary, a safe haven where acceptance and love prevailed. Their friends within the Occult Research Club noticed the depth of their commitment to each other. Riaz and the others admired the dedication Issei showed in supporting Gaspar, recognizing the strength of their bond and the significance of their relationship. Through their dedication and understanding, Issei and Gaspar forged a path, one where their differences didn't hinder their love, but rather strengthened it. As they continued to navigate the intricacies of their relationship, their commitment to each other grew, forming a resilient foundation built on acceptance and mutual support. Their journey was a testament to the power of love, transcending barriers and embracing the extraordinary, proving that acceptance and understanding could conquer any obstacle even the challenges posed by their supernatural nature. As they stood united, hand in hand, they knew that their love was a force that could withstand anything. The say in Gaspar's journey was marked not only by shared moments of joy, but also by challenges that tested the strength of their bond. As they delved deeper into their relationship, unforeseen obstacles arose, testing their resilience and unwavering commitment to each other. One evening, as Issei and Gaspar walked home from the occult research club, they encountered a group of humans casting wary glances at Gaspar. Issei sensed the tension and stood protectively by Gaspar's side, ready to defend him against any judgment or prejudice. However, before any confrontation could occur, Gaspar placed a calming hand on Issei's arm. It's okay, Issei. I'm used to it, he whispered, though the discomfort in his voice was evident. Issei's heart ached at the sight of Gaspar's distress. He realized that, despite their acceptance within their circle of friends, the outside world might not be as understanding of their relationship. As days went by, they encountered more instances where their bond faced scrutiny and misunderstanding. Glares and whispered rumors followed them, casting a shadow of doubt and discomfort over their relationship. Issei's frustration grew, but he refused to let these challenges dampen their connection. Instead, he sought advice from their friends, hoping to find a way to shield Gaspar from the judgmental eyes of society. Ria's, ever the voice of wisdom, sat down with Issei and Gaspar, her eyes filled with empathy. I understand the difficulties you're facing. 
Unfortunately, society can be unforgiving when it comes to accepting what it doesn't understand. But that doesn't mean we should hide who we are or what we feel for each other, Issei interjected, his determination unwavering. Bria's nodded in agreement. You're right, Issei. Love shouldn't be hidden. It's about finding strength in each other, despite the challenges. Encouraged by Rhea's words, Issei and Gasper stood firm, refusing to let external opinions sway their devotion to each other. They focused on creating a safe haven within their circle of friends, nurturing their relationship amidst the storms of judgment. Their friends within the occult research club rallied around them, offering unwavering support. Kiba, Akeno, and the others stood by Issei and Gasper, their actions speaking volumes about the acceptance and inclusivity they championed. Despite the external challenges, Issei and Gasper's relationship blossomed in the sanctuary of their acceptance. They cherished each moment spent together, finding solace in their shared understanding and love. Their commitment to each other strengthened, their bond evolving into a fortress against the adversities they faced. Issei admired Gasper's resilience and found renewed determination to shield their love from external influences. However, the challenges they faced weren't limited to societal judgments. Gasper's fears about losing control of his powers resurfaced, haunting him with the possibility of inadvertently causing harm to Issei or others. Issei noticed Gasper's unease, the anxiety evident in his eyes. He sought to reassure Gasper, offering unwavering support and understanding. Together, they explored various methods to help Gasper manage his abilities, experimenting with techniques and seeking guidance from experts in supernatural lore. Their efforts were met with small but significant successes. Gasper's confidence in controlling his powers grew, albeit slowly. Issei remained steadfast by his side, offering encouragement and unwavering belief in Gasper's abilities. Their journey was fraught with challenges, but with each hurdle they overcame, their bond deepened. Issei and Gasper learned that facing these challenges together only fortified their connection, reaffirming their belief in the strength of their love. As they stood united against the trials they encountered, Issei and Gasper remained unwavering in their commitment, their love serving as an anchor in a world that often sought to challenge the depth of their feelings. In the face of adversity, Issei and Gasper found solace and strength within the sanctuary of their shared love and the unwavering support of their friends. Each challenge they conquered brought them closer, strengthening the bond that had blossomed amidst the trials they faced. Their days were filled with shared moments of joy and quiet understanding. Issei and Gasper continued to explore their relationship, cherishing the simple pleasures of spending time together be it discussing the occult, enjoying quiet evenings, or simply basking in the comfort of each other's presence. Their friends within the occult research club remained pillars of support, fostering an environment where Issei and Gasper felt accepted and cherished. The genuine camaraderie among the group created a haven where their love could flourish, shielded from the judgmental eyes of the outside world. Rhea's Gremory, observing the depth of Issei and Gasper's commitment to each other, approached them one afternoon with a warm smile. You both have faced challenges that many wouldn't comprehend, but your dedication to each other is truly remarkable. Issei and Gasper exchanged a glance filled with gratitude, acknowledging Rhea's words. Her encouragement served as a constant reminder of the strength they found in each other and within their circle of friends. As they navigated their relationship, Issei learned more about Gasper's experiences as a vampire has struggles, fears, and the intricate balance he maintained to control his powers. Gasper, in turn, admired Issei's unwavering determination and his ability to see beyond the supernatural facade, accepting Gasper for who he truly was. Their interactions evolved, deepening their emotional connection. Issei found himself drawn to Gasper's quiet resilience, his gentle nature a soothing balm to Issei's fiery spirit. Gasper, in Issei, found a pillar of support, a beacon of unwavering understanding and compassion. One evening, as they sat together on the school rooftop, the sun setting on the horizon, Issei spoke softly, his gaze fixed on the mesmerizing hues of the sky. Gasper, there's something I've been meaning to say. Gasper turned to Issei, his expression one of gentle curiosity. What is it, Issei? Issei took a deep breath, the weight of his emotions palpable in the air. I've never felt a connection like this with anyone before. You've shown me a kind of love and understanding I never knew existed. You've become such an important part of my life, Gasper. Gasper's eyes widened in surprise, a faint blush coloring his cheeks. Issei, I feel the same way. You've brought so much joy and warmth into my life. Their exchange was simple yet profound, an acknowledgement of the depth of their feelings. They shared a moment of quiet understanding, their unspoken emotions echoing in the serene atmosphere. Their relationship continued to flourish, their shared experiences serving as threads that wove their connection stronger. Issei and Gasper found comfort in the simplicity of their moments together, finding happiness in each other's presence. Their friends noticed the depth of their bond, admiring the tenderness and sincerity that radiated between Issei and Gasper. Kiba and Akeno, ever supportive, offered words of encouragement, celebrating the beauty of their relationship. 
As their love blossomed, Issei and Gaspar discovered new layers of trust and intimacy, exploring the depths of their emotions in quiet moments of vulnerability. Their relationship became a sanctuary a safe space where they could freely express their thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment. Through shared laughter and quiet conversations, Issei and Gaspar continued to nurture their love, their connection growing deeper and more profound with each passing day. They reveled in the simple joys of their relationship, embracing the extraordinary love that had unexpectedly bloomed between a passionate human and a shy vampire. Issei and Gaspar's relationship became a testament to the power of acceptance and understanding. Their love blossomed amidst their differences, transcending the boundaries set by their supernatural natures. As their bond deepened, they encountered moments where their diverse backgrounds and inherent traits tested the strength of their connection. Issei, passionate and exuberant, embraced the vibrant chaos of life, while Gaspar, reserved and contemplative, found solace in the tranquility of moments. Their differences were both a source of fascination and a challenge they embraced. Issei admired Gaspar's quiet strength, finding solace in his serene demeanor. Gaspar, in turn, marveled at Issei's vibrant energy and unwavering determination. One evening, Issei and Gaspar found themselves strolling through a quiet park, the twilight casting an ethereal glow over the surroundings. Issei's enthusiasm was contagious, and he found himself excitedly sharing his dreams and ambitions with Gaspar. I've always wanted to explore the world, Gaspar. Discover new places, meet diverse cultures, and experience everything life has to offer, Issei exclaimed, his eyes shining with excitement. Gaspar listened attentively, his amethyst eyes reflecting a sense of quiet contemplation. That sounds incredible, Issei. I've never considered such adventures, but hearing you talk about it makes it all so fascinating. Their differing perspectives on life often led to thought-provoking conversations, where they exchanged insights and learned from each other's unique viewpoints. Issei encouraged Gaspar to embrace spontaneity and the thrill of the unknown, while Gaspar provided a sense of calm and introspection, grounding Issei in moments of chaos. Their friends within the occult research club admired the harmony that Issei and Gaspar found in their differences. Riaz and the others recognized the beauty of their contrasting personalities, understanding that it was these very differences that enriched their relationship. As they navigated their distinct approaches to life, Issei and Gaspar found a balance and equilibrium that allowed them to grow both individually and as a couple. They celebrated each other's strengths, embracing the diversity that made their relationship unique. Their acceptance of each other's differences became the cornerstone of their relationship. Issei and Gaspar learned to cherish the moments where their contrasting traits intertwined, creating a harmonious melody of love and understanding. Their journey together was marked by moments of learning and growth. Issei encouraged Gaspar to step out of his comfort zone, gently nudging him towards experiences that broaden his horizons. Gaspar, in turn, grounded Issei, teaching him the value of quiet contemplation and the beauty of simplicity. Their differences became threads that wove the fabric of their relationship a tapestry of acceptance and admiration. Issei's enthusiasm complemented Gaspar's introspection, creating a beautiful mosaic of love and understanding. As they embraced each other's distinctiveness, Issei and Gaspar discovered a newfound appreciation for the beauty and diversity. Their love was not bound by their supernatural nature, but thrived because of it, as they learned to cherish and celebrate the unique qualities that made them who they were. Their commitment to embracing each other's differences became a testament to the strength of their love, proving that acceptance and understanding could bridge any gap, no matter how vast. Together, they continued to navigate the intricacies of their relationship, growing stronger with each passing day, as they embraced the extraordinary love that transcended the boundaries of their supernatural existence. Issei and Gaspar's journey was a testament to the resilience of love, weathering storms and embracing the beauty of their connection, despite the challenges they faced. Their relationship had grown, matured and deepened, becoming a testament to acceptance and understanding. Amidst the trials and triumphs, their love stood firm, an unwavering beacon guiding them through the complexities of their supernatural existence. As they navigated the intricacies of their relationship, they discovered a profound truth love knew no boundaries, transcending the limitations imposed by their differences. One evening, under the gentle glow of the moon, Issei and Gaspar found themselves seated on a hilltop, the cityscape spread before them. The serenity of the night enveloped them, a backdrop to their quiet contemplation. Issei, do you ever wonder about our future? Gaspar's voice carried a tone of reflection, breaking the tranquil silence. Issei turned to Gaspar, a soft smile gracing his lips. I do, Gaspar. I imagine us facing whatever comes our way, together. Our future might be uncertain, but I'm certain about one thing I want to be by your side through it all. Gaspar's amethyst eyes shimmered with warmth and affection. I feel the same way, Issei. Our journey might have challenges, but as long as we're together, I know we can overcome anything. Their conversation was punctuated by moments of shared understanding, a testament to the strength of their bond. Issei and Gaspar embraced the uncertainties of their future, finding solace in the certainty of their love. 
As their relationship flourished, they continued to receive unwavering support from their friends. Rias, Kiba, Akeno, and the members of the Occult Research Club remained a constant source of encouragement, celebrating the resilience and beauty of their love. Their commitment to each other deepened, their connection growing stronger with every obstacle they surmounted. Issei admired Gaspar's unwavering determination to overcome his fears, while Gaspar found solace in Issei's relentless support and unwavering affection. In the quiet moments they shared, Issei and Gaspar found a profound sense of belonging a sense that their love was an extraordinary journey worth embracing. They reveled in the simple joys of being together, finding solace in the tranquility of their shared moments. Their love became a testament to the extraordinary proof that acceptance, understanding, and unwavering devotion could conquer any obstacle. Issei and Gaspar's bond transcended the norms of their supernatural existence, forming a connection that was unbreakable. Through their journey together, they learned that love wasn't always about grand gestures or dramatic displays it was in the quiet tender moments, the shared laughter, the mutual understanding, and the unwavering support they offered each other. As they gazed at the starlit sky, Issei and Gaspar knew that their love had triumphed over every challenge, weaving a tapestry of acceptance and understanding. Their bond stood as a beacon of hope, a testament to the extraordinary power of love in a world where acceptance and mutual respect were the foundations of their union. Together, they embraced the uncertainty of their future, their hands entwined a symbol of the enduring strength of their love. Issei and Gaspar stood united, ready to face whatever came their way, embarking on a journey where acceptance, understanding, and an extraordinary love surpassed the limitations imposed by their supernatural existence. Issei and Gaspar's journey, though filled with love and understanding, wasn't devoid of lingering fears and insecurities. Gaspar, in particular, grappled with the constant worry of losing control over his vampiric powers, a fear that occasionally cast a shadow over their relationship. One evening, Gaspar found himself lost in a whirlwind of apprehension as he sat alone in his room, the weight of his fears pressing upon him. He couldn't shake the haunting thoughts of unintentionally harming Issei or their friends, a fear that gnawed at his heart. Issei, perceptive of Gaspar's unease, gently knocked on the door, his voice laced with concern. Gaspar, can I come in? Gaspar's hesitance melted as he heard Issei's comforting voice. Of course, Issei. Entering the room, Issei sat beside Gaspar, sensing the turmoil within him. You seem troubled, Gaspar. Is there anything you want to talk about? Gaspar hesitated for a moment, battling with the vulnerability of his fears. I am scared, Issei. I fear that I might lose control of my powers and harm you or our friends. Issei placed a comforting hand on Gaspar's shoulder, offering reassurance. Gaspar, I understand your worries, but you've made tremendous progress. We'll figure this out together. You're not alone in this. Their conversation flowed, words of understanding and support exchanged in the quiet sanctuary of Gaspar's room. Issei listened attentively, providing a safe space for Gaspar to voice his concerns without judgment. Their friends within the occult research club noticed Gaspar's distress, rallying around him with unwavering support. Rias, Kiba, and Akeno offered words of encouragement, assuring Gaspar that he had their full support in overcoming his fears. Determined to help Gaspar, Issei suggested seeking guidance from experts in supernatural lore. Together, they researched ancient texts and sought advice from individuals experienced in handling vampiric abilities, seeking ways to aid Gaspar in controlling his powers. Their efforts led them to a renowned vampire scholar, a knowledgeable figure known for assisting vampires in honing their abilities. Issei and Gaspar sought an audience with the scholar, hoping to find guidance and techniques that could help Gaspar manage his powers more effectively. Under the scholar's guidance, Gaspar delved deeper into understanding his vampiric nature. He learned to channel and control his abilities, discovering techniques that allowed him to maintain a sense of balance and tranquility. Issei stood by Gaspar's side throughout the process, providing unwavering support and encouragement. Together, they practiced the techniques they had learned, turning late nights into sessions of understanding and mastering Gaspar's unique powers. With time, Gaspar's confidence in controlling his abilities grew. Issei admired Gaspar's determination and resilience, witnessing his progress with pride. Gaspar, buoyed by Issei's unwavering belief in him, found renewed determination to conquer his fears. Their efforts yielded small yet significant victories. Gaspar's fears began to diminish as he gained more control over his powers. Issei marveled at Gaspar's determination and strength, reaffirming his commitment to support Gaspar through every challenge. Their journey was marked by moments of triumph, where Gaspar conquered his fears with unwavering determination and the support of Issei and their friends. Their love stood resilient, a guiding force that propelled them forward, overcoming obstacles together. As they stood united against Gaspar's fears, Issei and Gaspar learned that love wasn't just about embracing each other's strengths, but also supporting each other in moments of vulnerability. Their bond grew stronger, fortified by their shared determination to conquer fears and insecurities together. 
through their perseverance and mutual support, Issei and Gaspar proved that with understanding, acceptance, and unwavering devotion, even the most daunting fears could be overcome. They emerged stronger, ready to face the future with newfound resilience, their love serving as a beacon of hope amidst uncertainties. Issei and Gaspar's journey, filled with challenges and triumphs, culminated in a celebration a testament to their love, resilience, and the unwavering acceptance they found within their circle of friends. The Occult Research Club organized a special gathering, a celebration dedicated to the beauty of acceptance and the strength of their bond. It was an occasion to honor Issei and Gaspar's relationship a love that transcended the boundaries of their supernatural existence. Under the gentle glow of fairy lights, amidst the laughter and camaraderie of their friends, Issei and Gaspar found themselves at the center of a celebration filled with warmth and joy. Rhea's Gremory, adorned in an elegant gown, stood at the forefront, her voice resonating with pride and admiration. Today, we celebrate a love that defies norms and embraces differences a love that has inspired us all. Issei and Gaspar exchanged a glance filled with gratitude, overwhelmed by the outpouring of support and acceptance from their friends. Thibba stepped forward, a genuine smile gracing his lips. Issei and Gaspar, your journey has shown us the power of acceptance and understanding. Your love is a testament to the beauty of embracing differences. Their friends, including Akeno, Kaneko, and the others, shared words of encouragement, celebrating the strength of Issei and Gaspar's bond. They toasted to their love, raising their glasses in a heartfelt gesture of unity and acceptance. As the evening unfolded, Issei and Gaspar found themselves surrounded by an atmosphere of genuine acceptance and celebration. They danced amidst the music, reveling in the joy of the moment a celebration of their extraordinary love. Bria's approach to Say and Gaspar, a fond smile gracing her features. This celebration isn't just about your love, it's about the acceptance and inclusivity we cherish within our group. You've taught us the value of embracing uniqueness. The Say nodded in appreciation, his gaze filled with gratitude. Thank you Rias. We're grateful for the support and acceptance we've received from all of you. Asper added, his voice tinged with heartfelt appreciation, your support has been invaluable to us. It means the world to have friends who accept us as we are. Their friends surrounded them, enveloping them in a circle of warmth and acceptance. They celebrated the beauty of diversity and the strength found in unity, fostering an environment where love and understanding thrived. As the night drew to a close, Issei and Gasper found themselves reflecting on the significance of the celebration. It wasn't just a commemoration of their love, but a testament to the acceptance and inclusivity they had cultivated within their circle of friends. Their relationship had become a beacon of hope, inspiring others to embrace differences and cherish the beauty found in diversity. Issei and Gaspar's love had paved the way for a community built on acceptance, understanding, and unconditional support. As they bid farewell to the celebration, Issei and Gaspar held hands, a silent acknowledgement of the incredible journey they had embarked upon together. Their love had triumphed, fostering an environment where acceptance reigned supreme a celebration not just of their relationship, but of the extraordinary power of acceptance and unity. Issei and Gaspar stood on the precipice of a new chapter in their lives, their love having weathered every storm, transcended every challenge, and emerged stronger than ever. Their journey together had been a testament to the extraordinary, proving that love, acceptance, and understanding could conquer any obstacle. On a serene evening, amidst the tranquil beauty of the cherry blossom trees, Issei and Gaspar found themselves at a picturesque park a place that held a special significance in their hearts. As they walked hand in hand, the gentle breeze carried whispers of a promising future. Issei glanced at Gaspar, a soft smile gracing his lips. This place always feels so peaceful, doesn't it? Gaspar nodded, a serene expression adorning his features. It does, Issei. It holds memories of our journey together a reminder of how far we've come. Their journey had been a tapestry woven with moments of love, understanding, and unwavering support. Issei and Gaspar found solace in the simplicity of their moments together, cherishing the beauty found in shared experiences. As they reached a tranquil spot beneath the cherry blossom trees, Issei turned to Gaspar, his gaze filled with an unwavering certainty. Gaspar, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Gaspar's amethyst eyes widened in pleasant surprise, his curiosity peaked. What is it, Issei? With a gentle smile, Issei took Gaspar's hand in his, a glimmer of nervous excitement dancing in his eyes. Gaspar Vladi, will you spend forever by my side? Will you marry me? The surge of emotions washed over Gaspar, a mix of joy, love, and overwhelming happiness. Tears welled up in his eyes as he nodded, his voice choked with emotion. Yes Issei. I want nothing more than to spend my life with you. Their hearts soared in unison, an affirmation of their love echoing amidst the tranquil surroundings. Issei slipped a ring onto Gaspar's finger, a symbol of their eternal commitment to promise to stand by each other, through every joy and every challenge that lay ahead. 
their love had traversed the realms of the ordinary and the supernatural, emerging victorious a testament to the power of acceptance, understanding, and an extraordinary bond that surpassed the limitations of their existence. In the days that followed, Issei and Gaspar began planning their future together a future, built on a foundation of acceptance, love, and mutual respect. Their friends within the occult research club rallied around them, offering unwavering support and heartfelt congratulations. Rias, Kiba, Akeno, and their friends celebrated the joyous occasion, embracing the union of Issei and Gaspar with open hearts. They witnessed the beauty of a love that it endured, rejoicing in the happiness that radiated from the couple. As Issei and Gaspar looked toward their future, they knew that their love was a beacon a source of strength and inspiration. They embraced the uncertainties of the journey ahead, confident in the unwavering support they had in each other. Their love story had become a tale of triumph a celebration of acceptance, understanding, and the extraordinary bond between a passionate human and a shy vampire. Issei and Gaspar stood hand in hand, ready to embark on a new chapter, forever together a testament to the enduring power of love. End of the here. So that's it for today's video guys, before you go just like the video and share it with your friends. Bye.